Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's check what is happening in MMORPG and PC game world. This evening for you I have some exciting news regarding different MMORPGs and MMOs, so this evening let's start with Throne and Liberty. Throne and Liberty is a new upcoming MMORPG developed by NCSoft for PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox, and this game will be released globally in 2024 by Amazon Games. Before that, in December of 2023, Throne and Liberty will be released in Korea. And right now, we have something really important happening regarding TL. We have Confidential Technical Test. You can see here from September 19 up to October 3rd, only players from United States can participate in this testing phase. And actually, what is interesting, right, this test is under NDA. That means that nobody cannot leak any kind of gameplay footage or any kind of information from that technical test. And I'm surprised that so far, and basically look, test is almost over in a few days. Nobody didn't leak anything. However, that silence is very positive. No ranting, no complaining, no crying from players who are participating in that testing phase. So. I think in generally that we can all be satisfied with all the changes which NCSoft have implemented into the game. We have seen, you can check dedicated videos on my YouTube channel for this technical test and for release of the game in Korea and for global release of the game. They have improved combat. Now you can move while you attack and not only that, they have removed all the auto features from the game. They have removed auto combat, auto play and auto movement from the game and they have also done so many other big changes changes regarding acquiring your skills, leveling up. Anyway, in generally, in short, they have improved a game a lot since that closed beta test in Korea. Closed beta test in Korea, which was up about three months ago, it was actually pretty a pretty negative experience because we have seen static combat uh, auto features in the game also, right? Game which was not, game was not looking good. In generally, game was not looking good. However, that have changed. Hype is back. TL, hype for TL is back, TL is looking better than ever. While we are waiting this uh, technical test to, uh, to be over and maybe to hear some new information from Amazon Games after that technical test, because like I said, NDA is up. NDA is up, so we will not see any kind of gameplay footage from anyone who is, uh, who is participating in this testing phase. However, after this testing phase, maybe we'll get some new information from Amazon Games. Maybe some statistics, maybe some feedback from that technical test. I can also show you here, over there in Korea, they're slowly preparing for release of Throne and Liberty. Uh, this is official website of Throne and Liberty in Korea. There is nothing new here, uh, something big. I can only show you new calendar for October, beautiful graphic design, you can see it's here. Other than that, yes, I'm waiting for some kind of news from developers of this game, NCSoft, regarding Korean release of this game, which will happen in December. Of course, I will try to play the game over there. And for global release of the game, we need to wait for 2024. I just hope that we will not wait too long during 2024. Another interesting information I want to give you here. I have noticed that not many people so far have wishlisted Throne and Liberty on Steam because probably I assume many people don't even know that Throne and Liberty is already up on Steam. I can show you here. Yes, it's up. You can add this game to your wish list. So do that. And what to say except, uh, yeah, hype is back. Uh, let's be optimistic and let's see what will happen after confidential technical test. Because next testing phase should also uh, come very soon. You can see here it's written, fear not, more testing opportunities will be available before Throne and Liberty launch for players around the world. So next testing phase should be available for everybody, not only for players from United States. While we are waiting for other news regarding TL, we can check what is happening with some other new exciting titles. For this evening, I can show you here Bitcraft, new upcoming sandbox PC MMORPG developed by Clockwork Labs. In the previous week, we have got a big announcement that alpha testing phase is starting on early, actually in early 2024. So alpha testing phase, you can already sign up. This is official website of Bitcraft. Age of Automata, this is full, uh, full name of the game, and you can already check some dedicated videos about this game on my YouTube channel. What is this game about? Well, I can read to you only this one sentence and it will be clear to you what is Beatcraft about. 
Beatcraft is a sandbox MMORPG which encourages many different playstyles ranging from farming, hunting and crafting to city building and social strategy, rather than emphasizing combat alone. The game incorporates elements of subgenres such as survival games, sandbox games, role playing games, city builders and strategy games. So this game is combination of few different kind of genres including survival games, sandbox games, role playing games, city builders and strategy games and it will not be about combat, it will be about farming, hunting and crafting. Everything is wrapped into beautiful graphic design, you can see a little bit of here of graphic design and actually I made my first video about Beatcraft about two years ago when, they, when this game was announced. Then back then we have get first trailer for this game, you can check some dedicated videos like I said on my YouTube channel and you can check a brand new alpha trailer with announcement that alpha is starting in early 2024. I would say something promising, something interesting to play in 2024, this game have potential and what I like about this game and you can see it already here on this uh, main website is a very unique graphic design very unique graphic design, so Beatcraft Age of Automata, sounds good, uh, title of the game, right? Uh, check in the future some dedicated videos about Beatcraft, uh, for this unit, just to let you know, alpha testing phase is coming in early 2024. Let's go forward with The Queenfall, new upcoming PC MMORPG, yes, a real PC MMORPG, no mobile devices, in development by Wawraik Technology Inc. In the previous week I have made specific video about this new upcoming title because over there on official Discord server of the Queenfall we have get few screenshots, actually about 10 different kind of screenshots which are revealing many interesting information about this game. Already now you can add this game to your wishlist here on Steam and I can show you here what is interesting, release date quarter 4 of 2023. I doubt that will happen, probably it will be in early 2024, because we still need to see next testing phase, but who knows, maybe developers and publisher of this game will surprise us with early release in quarter 4 of 2023, that is actually now, right, quarter 4 of 2023. Now this game have a huge potential, so far what we have seen regarding combat, weapons, classes, different kind of in-game features, you can see here, PvP is here, PvE is here, hunting, cooking, fishing, naval, yes, naval features of this game are here, mining, building, crafting, magical, agriculture, massively multiplayer, absolutely real MMORPG, open world game, character customization done in a really high quality way, medieval style, action RPG, adventure, yeah, it's looking really good. So, game with, with a huge potential, like I said, very soon, very, very soon, we need to see some kind of next testing phase. If they want to release the game in quarter four of 2023, Basically, they need to start testing phase very soon. So, Queenfall, keep in your mind this new upcoming PC MMORPG, a real MMORPG, which is really nice to see, no mobile port to PC, uh, available probably very soon on the end of 2023 or maybe early 2024. Let's go forward with Iron Classic European release. Actually, in front of you, you can see one event happening on live servers. It's important to say that Gameforge is celebrating with this big event, Ion 13th anniversary. Yes, 14 years of Ion since the release of, of this beautiful MMORPG. Regarding uh, this event, you can check official forum to participate, maybe to win some Gameforge coupons. Also, I can show you here regarding Iron Classic European version of the game. Currently, we have interesting event, basically where you need to log in and grab some rewards, or you can stay logged in for a certain amount of time, one hour, two hour or three hours and get some nice rewards. Other than that, I can only tell you that uh, I'm playing Iron Classic European version of the game every evening. So so far, game is uh, game is really enjoyable to play. There are still lots of players playing the game. Yes, there are some issues. Uh, there are some issues in the game like bots, RMTing, cheating, AP trading. Game is a little bit unfriendly to new players and average players. Nevertheless, it's still enjoyable to play. So regarding Iron Classic European release, check my daily live streams on Twitch every evening about 6.30 Central European time. Also, I am sharing some codes. Thank you Gameforge for sharing codes which you can, uh, which now content creators can share with other players. 
And yeah, join me on live streams. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are interested into Ion Classic and Ion in general. I'm preparing also for the future lots of content regarding Ion 2, and I'm playing Ion for a long time. When I see something interesting is happening in Korea, North America, and Europe, I will let you know about that. Of course, I'm playing Ion now while I'm waiting for some other new releases later during 2023 and 2024 regarding new upcoming PC MMORPGs. Here I can show you on Korean website of Ion. Yeah, game is looking pretty good over there. They're all the time having new updates and new events. You'll check, you'll see very soon a video on my YouTube channel, dedicated video on my YouTube channel regarding what is happening in Korea regarding Iron Classic. And also check a new video about update 2.4 on my YouTube channel because that is the next update which we should get here in Europe. Who knows when? There is no release date for now for update 2.4. Probably it will happen on the end of October or during November. But when I see some kind of concrete information from Gameforge, I will let you know about that. For this evening, just to let you know, on Iron Classic European servers, you can see here this event is happening, pretty nice event. And regarding Iron Live servers, which are probably dead, not probably, game is dead for sure regarding iron retail regarding iron live servers everywhere basically in the world in korea in north america and in europe however yeah of course it's a nice anniversary i want to say except uh, happy birthday uh, to iron 14 years since release of the game yeah it's really old mmorpg but still really beautiful at least this version of the game iron classic european release Let's go forward with a new world. This evening I need to talk about new world because Amazon Games is having one big try, big attempt to revive the game. You can see here, big new paid expansion. Actually, first paid expansion of new world, Rise of the Angry Earth, will be released on October 3rd. Did I say the date correctly? Yes, October 3rd. We are getting, they are getting over there. I'll try probably to play New World, but I'm not sure. That's why I say they are getting. So they are getting many new in-game features over there. New story, mounts. Yes, mounts finally in the game, right? New progression, new gear rarity, new weapon, flail, zone transformed, Elysian fields, new expedition, the savage divide, new heart tune ability, primal fury. So many things, including new season pass. Will this save the game? We will find out very soon. I can show you for this evening. This is a new world on Steam database. 24 hour peak is 21,000 players. Let's say 21,000 players. So let's around this number. Uh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for a game of this magnitude. This is a big, huge project from Amazon Games, publisher and developers of this game, which was released two years ago as unfinished product. Back then, two years ago, the situation regarding new world was not good. Currently, actually, game is looking pretty good. Pretty good. They have removed lots of bugs. They have fixed many issues. However, will this big new update, paid expansion, will this revive the game? That remains to be seen. I will check numbers after October 3rd. Uh, you can see so far, number is not looking good. Numbers are not looking good. And don't forget, there is also competition coming later during 2023 and in 2024, especially during 2024 within MMORPG gaming genre. So let's see what will happen with New World. Just to let you know, if you have intention to come back to this game, maybe now, after October 3rd would be a good moment. You can buy this new expansion if you already own this game for $30. Or uh, you can buy the whole game if you have never tried to play New World before for $70. So let's see what will happen with New World. I'm really interested to see. I'm curious to see will a New World manage to survive 2023 and 2024. In my opinion, no. In my opinion, this game will not be able to... Even with all the improvements, with all the effort, which is good. They have done very uh, lots of improvements in the game. Don't get me wrong. Amazon Games have done a really great job on the game within the last two years, right? They have fixed many things. They have improved the game on many, many ways. Game is now in actually pretty good shape. But... I think this is not enough because once you get bad reputation, like in real life, right? Once you get bad reputation, you can fix that, you can fix it, but very hard. In MMORPG game in general, well, MMORPG gaming community is not forgiving. It's not forgiving. So I doubt they will manage to pull through. But let's see. Who knows, right? My prediction, New World will die during 2024. But let's see. Like I said, let's not bury the game while it's still alive to some point. I will let you know on my YouTube channel when I see something interesting is happening with New World. And also, I might even try to play a new update. All, all depends, will I have time?
Let's go forward with Blue Protocol. Blue Protocol is a new upcoming anime PC MMORPG also available on PlayStation 5 and Xbox which will be released globally in 2024 by Amazon Games. You can see here in front of you new big new update is coming to Japanese servers. Yes this game was released in Japan recently let's say recently a few months back. You can see here on October 25th big new update with uh, what will be main features of this update. Increase of level cap from 50 to 60, some new regions and new dungeons. That would be main features of this update. Interesting graphic design. You can see here, right? They can pick really interesting uh, looking graphic design for this new update. You can check dedicated video on my YouTube channel, including this brand new trailer. Uh, Blue Protocol is looking really good, actually pretty decent graphically. Uh, will this help uh, to game over there in Japan? Because... Uh, because Current state of the game over there in Japan, I wouldn't say it's too good. Uh, players are complaining a lot regarding many things, including balance between classes, microtransactions, end game grind. However, will this new update help to Blue Protocol? And uh, of course to Madai Namco to revive this game, that remains to be seen. I will let you know about that just for this evening to, to let you know that uh, yeah, if you have opportunity to play this game in Japan, do so. Big new update is coming on October 25th. Check a dedicated video on my YouTube channel with, with all the features, what will happen on October 25th. And also you can check some gameplay footage uh, on my YouTube channel. I have played this game in Japan after release actually a lot. I have quit eventually. I didn't get banned. Uh, probably I did by now. But I have tried to play the game in Japan. Actually, it's pretty decent. You know, I would say out of 10, 5 out of 10. Four and a half out of ten. Yeah, I would say four and a half out of ten. That would be my best grade for uh, uh, for not for newer for Blue Protocol. Uh, so let's see what will happen with Blue Protocol in the future. Of course, regarding West version of the game, you can already sign up for the beta here on official global website from Amazon Games. There are no big news regarding Western version of the game. When I see something interesting is happening, I will let you know about that. Let's go forward with Lost Ark. This evening we need to check what is happening with Lost Ark because just recently Amazon Games, publisher of this game for Western version of the game and developers of this game, Smilegate RPG, they have implement this jumpstart servers right so basically you can create a character on these new servers and jumpstart your character to gear score 1415 yes you heard good 1415 so if you have any intention to come back to lost ark now would be a great moment because they have introduced this new update and these new servers recently so good moment to check number of players let's see here on steam database what is happening and you will notice 24 hour peak 48.3 thousand players not much not much i was expecting much more we can see here a little bit of jump in number of players on september 27 up to 53 let's say 54 thousand players and now number is again going down a little bit better situation we have regarding number of players over there in korean version of the game also developer of this game smilegate rpg they are doing everything what they can you can see here these are only updates from september you can see here on this part of the website they are trying their they are doing everything what they can to revive the game. Don't get me wrong, game is not dead. It's far from that over there in Korea. And it's getting a little bit better on the ranking list. I have seen a little bit improvement. Uh, usually uh, Lost Ark was always within top three games in Korea. Top five, let's say, within last year or two. It, uh, it did drop down a little bit to position number six. And I can see in the previous week it went a little bit up. Again to position number three or four. So it's getting better situation regarding low star over there in korea here in the western version of the game not so much better so this game is not dead as new world right Twenty thousand players comparing to 50 there are some bots in uh, in low star for sure nevertheless low star i would say very similar situation with new world very similar situation right so developers and publisher of the game they're trying everything what they can i could use the same story for New World at this point and for Lost Ark. They are trying everything what they can, right, to revive the game, to keep it alive during 2023, end of 2023 and 2024. But even for Lost Ark, it's not looking good. Competition is coming, many new games, new releases. 
And let's see what will happen with Lost Stark for this evening, just to let you know, number of players did increase a little bit after these a jump start servers implementation in the game however it didn't jump so high as i was expecting i was thinking to see at least 100k players in the game part of that number will be bots but this here is still not looking that good boys and girls ladies and gentlemen this part of live stream like you have seen i have dedicated to all the news regarding mmorpgs specifically new upcoming pc mmorpgs you can see many things are currently happening with the blue protocol you have seen the news regarding queenfall beatcraft but of course most important thing currently is happening regarding throne and liberty because this technical test is to be or not to be for tl Let's see how we'll react after this test. Like I said, NDA is up, so, uh, so nobody from who is participating in this test cannot reveal anything. However, maybe we'll get some feedback from Amazon Games. And very soon, I hope very soon during 2023, you will see that other testing phase available for everybody, not only for players from the United States. For this evening, that will be it regarding MMORPG and MMO gaming news. See you next Sunday. Every Sunday you will see this kind of video on my YouTube channel to keep you updated regarding everything what is happening in MMORPG and MMO gaming genre. If you are watching my live stream, let's go for our live stream. If you are watching this video on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of MMORPG content in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 7 o'clock Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.